I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the swamp chestnut oak. Swamp chestnut oak, Quercus mishoei, is one of 20 plus oaks native to Kentucky. The oak genus Quercus is considered one of the most important aggregations of hardwoods in North America. Swamp chestnut oak is a member of the white oak group and one of the more important species in this group in the south. It is also known as basket oak and cow oak. Swamp chestnut oak typically has a straight massive trunk with a narrow crown and trees can average 60 to 80 feet in height and up to 2 to 3 feet in diameter and they are somewhat slow growing. The wood is considered second only to that of the best white oaks and it is a valuable wildlife tree. Swamp chestnut oak grows from the Atlantic coastal plain from New Jersey, south to Florida, and west to Texas. It is also found in the Mississippi River Valley up into Tennessee and Kentucky. In Kentucky, it's found along the Mississippi and western Ohio rivers and far in the far western part of the state. There are also scattered populations in the southern half of the state. Swamp chestnut oak grows on moist and wet loamy soils of bottomlands along swamp borders and streams. It grows with cherry bark, schumard, and white oak, as well as black gum and other bottomland hardwoods. This oak can be used in large urban settings such as a large yard or park, and they make a great shade tree. Swamp chestnut oak is classed as intermediate to shade intolerant. Swamp chestnut oak is a deciduous tree with simple alternately arranged leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are obovate, 4 to 8 inches long and 3 to 5 inches wide. The margins have large, round, blunt teeth, and they are dark green and somewhat shiny above and pale green and downy below. And fall leaf color ranges from yellow to orange to burgundy to coppery brown. This species is monoecious, meaning one house, which means trees have both male and female flowers. The male flowers are in two to four inch long yellow green catkins, and the female flowers are green to red and they're very small and they're found in the leaf axle. The flowers appear with the leaves in mid spring and the flowers are wind pollinated. The fruit is an acorn and the acorn is typically one to one and a half inches long with a bowl shaped cap that covers about a third of the acorn. The acorn cap is rough and scaly and has a short stalk. The acorns tend to be chestnut brown when they're ripen and they may be found solitary or in pairs. Trees begin seed production around 20 to 25 years with optimum seed production around 40 years of age. Trees have good seed crops every three to five years and acorns mature in one growing season. The seeds are dispersed by wildlife, wind, gravity, and water. And squirrels are very helpful at disseminating the acorns because they tend to hoard far more than they actually eat. Swamp chestnut oak can also sprout from roots and stumps, but not prolifically. The bark of swamp chestnut oak is very similar to white oak. It's gray and scaly, kind of ashy in color, and it develops irregular furrows as the tree grows larger. The bark can sometimes have a red tinge and freshly cut surfaces are reddish brown. The wood of swamp chestnut oak shares many of the same traits of white oak, Quercus alba, and is often sold as white oak. The wood is hard and durable, and it tends to be light to medium brown in color, but there is also a great variation in that color. It is, has medium to large pores and is ring porous with abundant tyloses in the large pores, as you can see in the close-up photo. Tyloses are balloon-like outgrowths of parenchyma cells in the large xylem vessels, and they block water movement, which helps white oak's wood to be watertight, which is why it's preferred, per, preferred for casks and shipbuilding to red oak. It does have distinct growth rings, and the wood is rated moderately durable and moderately resistant to decay. The wood is used for cabinetry, furniture, interior trim, flooring, barrels, veneer, railroad ties, and baskets. Swamp chestnut oak, like other oaks, is an important wildlife tree. In fact, the National Wildlife Federation lists oaks as one of the top 10 trees for wildlife. The large, sweet, nutritious acorns provide food for a variety of birds, such as woodpeckers, blue jays, ruffed grouse, ducks, and wild turkey, as well as numerous mammals, including squirrels, white-tailed deer, and black bear. 
Oaks are also very and a very important larval host for hundreds of Lepidopteran species, such as the imperial moth, hair streaks, and dusky wings. Swamp white oak also provides good cover for a variety of mammals as well because the leaves typically persist longer than other plant associates. The National Champion Swamp Chestnut Oak, as of 2022, is in Virginia Beach, Virginia. It's 276 inches in circumference, 123 feet tall, with a 109-foot crown spread. The Kentucky Champion is in Jefferson County, and it's 254 inches in circumference, 125 feet tall, with a 116-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about swamp chestnut oak. This tree is also known as basket oak because it was once widely used to make baskets. The wood is easily split into long, thin, flexible strips that were excellent for weaving baskets. Another common name is cow oak, because in the south, cattle were commonly turned out into the woods to graze, and they ate the swamp chestnut oak foliage as well as the acorns. The scientific genus name Quercus is Latin for oak, and the specific epithet Michoui is for the French botanist Francois-André Michaud, who was responsible for first describing many of the trees in the eastern United States in the early 1800s. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodlands, a local park or neighborhood and enjoy the beautiful trees of Kentucky, including the swamp chestnut oak.